Hey everyone, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Today we're gonna take this DJI Mini 3 Pro out for a flight. I'll demonstrate some of the features and we'll talk about some of the, the new features on this drone. So let's get to it. Some of these demos may seem simple at first, but knowing how to seamlessly perform these features will help you feel more confident when you're flying. So let's start out with quick shots and droney. Next, we'll try the rocket. And then the circle. And the helix. Then there's the boomerang. And last is the asteroid. Also new on the Mini 3 Pro is Master Shots. Master Shots is a combination of multiple uh, quick shots basically and it just chooses what it wants to do and um, put together a, a nice combination package. While you're doing the master shots, you do want to make sure that you keep an eye on obstacles and keep your thumb on the flight pause button because you want to make sure you're not going to run into something. And then the aircraft returns to the starting point when it's all done. Hyperlapse has four options. Free, circle, course lock, and waypoint. In free, you control the drone and it takes uh, pictures at the set interval. In circle, the aircraft automatically takes photos while flying around a selected subject to generate a time lapse. Course lock follows the direction that the aircraft is in when it's activated. And again, take the pictures to generate the time lapse video. And waypoint uh, flies to certain points that you've selected up to up to five between two and five points um, it flies to that point and then takes photos in between there to generate a time-lapse video based on those waypoints you can set the interval that the pictures are taken at the uh, total video length and then the speed panorama has four different options as well you have sphere 180 wide angle and vertical the Advanced Pilot Assistance System, or APAS, has two options, or actually three options. One is bypass, one is brake, and one is off. It's the uh, dynamic type of obstacle avoidance. So as I have selected bypass, as I go toward a, an obstacle, the drone flies around it, even if I have the stick still pointing straight ahead so it's constantly adjusting and in this case I have selected bypass so it goes around obstacles as opposed to braking as I mentioned previously the uh, Mini 3 has multiple photo options and a couple of video options. Single shot, which incorporates an HDR feature, 48 megapixel, auto exposure bracketing, and you can do three shots or five shots. Burst, which goes up to seven shots for high speed kind of stuff. Time shots. You have two second, three second, all the way up to 60 second. 
in video you have normal and slow motion and I'll point out that in 4k resolution up to 30 frames per second that you have an HDR feature once you go to 48 frames per second you don't have that feature Another feature on the Mini 3 is the ability to roll the gimbal up to 60 degrees. Focus Track is another intelligent flight mode that's new on the Mini 3. Focus Track includes Spotlight 2.0, Point of Interest 3.0, and Active Track 4.0. The way you activate Focus Track is by simply drawing a box on the screen to get the pop-up and then you'll see that the uh, point is is highlighted the default is spotlight and then you can also select point of interest or active track from spotlight the camera stays focused on a particular point no matter where the drone moves When you switch to point of interest, it stays locked on the particular point you chose, but it simply does a rotation around. With point of interest, you can adjust the distance to or from the point by moving the pitch control. Point of interest will follow a moving subject as well and it just keeps the rotation going around with active track you have two options you have trace and parallel trace follows a subject a person or a vehicle things like that And parallel follows your profile. With parallel, you have to be careful because there is no uh, sideways obstacle avoidance. So you have to be cautious and careful of the obstacles that are around you. To quit out of focus track, you just click on the X around the subject. The last new feature that I'll talk about is the uh, vertical shooting mode. The Mini 3 has a camera that rotates 90 degrees and allows you to shoot vertical uh, photos. You can also zoom using vertical as well, along with the normal camera. You can take 
vertical video and you can take vertical photos as well as 48 megapixel vertical photos. Well, that's it for this video and the demonstration of this DJI Mini 3 Pro. The drone did very well in our tests and our demonstrations. We were flying in some high wind conditions, high heat conditions, and it performed well along with the controller, the RC controller. We're going to do some comparisons of the Mini 3 to some other comparable models in a couple of upcoming videos. So make sure you subscribe to the UAV Coach channel. And don't forget to click the notifications bell so you'll be notified of when those videos come out. So until then, all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying, and we'll see you soon.